Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to discuss something very important, how to study transits of Rahu, because Rahu transits in a sign for almost 18 months, and many times we are wondering what the hell is he going to do there? Is he going to spoil the house? Is he going to improve the house? Or what in the universe is Rahu going to do in that house, right? Because 18 months, one and a half years is a very long time. So it is good if we get a good direction uh, in regards to what Rahu does in a particular house so that we can take the right decisions at the right time. All right. So if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your career, health, relationships, uh, marriage, then please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and hopefully you can hear and find him. <laughs> so Rahu's transit is a very crucial transit because Rahu and Ketu are representing things which we... Uh, do not anticipate. They are things which are unpredictable, right? They are things which happen suddenly. They give shock, right? So before you look where your Rahu is transiting from your ascendant, not from the moon. So when you, before you see that, you first need to go and check in your birth chart. Which dasha are you running? That is that is going to tell you. That's the first step that you need to do. So, for example, if you are running the dasha of a planet, which is lording the 10th house or sitting in the 10th house, for example, then, and let's assume that this dasha, this antar dasha is coinciding with the transit of Rahu, right? So, then it means that irrespective of where Rahu is transiting currently, because your Dasha, Anta Dasha is indicating uh, the 10th house, there could be some promotion or uh, gain of authority, name, fame, power, position, status, something like that, right? Now, here's the catch. For example, if Rahu is transiting your Artha houses, then this can be amplified, right? Because the 10th house is the Artha house, whose dasha you are running. And then Rahu is also transiting, either the 2nd, 6th or 10th, right? So then this can be uh, blown out, blown out in the sense, things, the promotion that you might get or the new job opportunity, it can be in a different domain. The technology may be different. Or you might change the company. So you might go to a different company because Rahu and Ketu are separative planets. So therefore, they may not give you the same, uh, they may not give you a promotion in the same company. They may give you a similar job in a, another company, right? So then you know that this is going to be blown out, uh, out of proportion and it's going to be another company. Not necessarily always, it depends on so many other factors. But it is very much possible that this can lead to a parallel or a better job in another company. Or maybe within the same company, you are posted in a different domain, you have a new manager, new team leader, or whatever, right? So this is one possibility. Now, now, for example, you are running the Dasha of the 10th house. But now Rahu is not in a Artha house. He's not transiting in a Artha Trikon. He's transiting in a Kama house, Kama Trikon, right? Which are the Kama houses? The third, seventh, and eleventh. So what does this mean? This means that there could be requirement of traveling within the new job that you end up getting, or the promotion or job uh, in another company, whatever it is, right? You might end up in consulting. Because of the third house, you might end up doing business deals and negotiations. You might enter into advertising, uh, sales and all this. These are typical symptoms of symptoms. <laughs> third house, seventh house. These are like the connotations for the third and seventh and the eleventh also. 
So this is how you know. So first you look at your dasha. Do not look at your transit. I get people telling me, oh, sir, my Rahu is in the eighth house. What will happen? Will I get inheritance or will I get into depression? Will I get into addiction? What will happen? See, because Rahu is going to transit. So if your Rahu is transiting your eighth house from the ascendant, it's going to transit for one se uh, seventh or uh, rather, you know, one sixth of the world population, right? 12 ascendants, yes, one sixth of the world population. Uh, I mean, sorry, one twelfth of the population. So, one twelfth is how much? 50 crores, 60 crores almost. 7 billion people, right? So, do you think one twelfth of the population, they will all undergo the same things? Well, absolutely not. So therefore, first check your Mahadasha. The Mahadasha will tell you the status. It will tell you the extent, right? So for example, if your Mahadasha is neutral, then the promotion that you get in the Antardasha may be good. It, it will increase your status. It will change your status rather. But it may not be life-changing. But imagine the Mahadasha is extraordinary. And then you get a good Antardasha. Oh my God, it's like life-changing. And if it's the other way around, you know, Mahadasha is bad, Antardasha is also screwed up, then it can be life-threatening sometimes, daunting, right? So therefore, once you know the status from the Mahadasha, then you see what details are there in the Antardasha. That will tell you of the ups and downs, right? And then, you look at the transits. Okay, so for example, if Rahu is transiting your Lagna, then you may think, oh, what will happen? Rahu in Lagna, I will meet foreigners. Rahu is in Lagna, so Ketu is in my seventh. You know, will I have a divorce or break in relationship, marriage? What will happen? This will happen, that will happen. So again, one seventh, one, I mean, one twelfth of the population, right? Incredible. So every one twelfth, every individual, every human being is going to have a different dasha, right? Even if they are running uh, any same dasha, they, the planets will be in different houses, in different signs, they will have a different ascendant. So no two human beings will be running the same dasha, never, right? So therefore, you got to understand that Rahu Ketu cannot decide results. I mean, the transits of Rahu Ketu does not decide results. Okay. So once you check the Dasha, only then you should come to conclusions. So the other day around, uh, what, there was one person who had a planet in sixth house and that got activated. And this person got a job. And his Rahu was transiting the third house. So as I said, consulting. So then this person said, Oh, yeah, when I give the interview, this person, uh, the HR asked me, you know, are you open for traveling because we have a requirement for traveling? Yes. So Rahu and Ketu will always try to influence the nature of uh, the work, but it will not influence the status. So, for example, if you're running a bad dasha and Rahu transits your 10th house, it can lead to defame sometimes. So it's fall of status. So just because Rahu is transiting your 10th, it just doesn't mean you, you are going to become the king of the world, right? Because it's going to transit for a hell lot of people, right? One twelfth, 60 crore people. That's a big number. <laughs> That's half of Indian population, right? I hope I'm right. So imagine half of entire India. Do you think the same thing is going to happen? No, absolutely not. Never, 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 right? So therefore... Mahadasha first, Antardasha second, and then you see the transits, and then you see how they can influence the nature of the planets and the results, of course. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. I hope you liked the video. And if you liked, please click the thumbs up and share it with your friends, family members, and colleagues who are interested to know how to study Rahu's transit. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a consultation, please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time, irrespective of where Rahu is transiting. Just look to him and you will hear him and you will find him. Thank you.